Today I'm going to show you how I make these 3D logos using Adobe Illustrator. If you're new here, I'm Tyler aka Tylee Talk and on this channel I design, redesign and critique logos. So if that's something you're into, then go ahead and subscribe. So not long ago, Adobe Illustrator added these insane 3D materials tools and I've been playing around with them a lot and I found out that you can make really, really interesting 3D logos and other kind of images or drawings that you do pretty easily and pretty fast. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that from start to finish in just a couple minutes. I actually made a lot of these in my live stream on Wednesday, which I have here on my channel every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific time. So if you wanna give your input next time on what logos to do, what we should make on the stream, what kind of videos we're doing next, then definitely check that out. So to get started, we're either going to draw a shape using the pen tool or turn an existing image that we have into a vector. So to do that, you go to the image trace panel and if you have a color image, then you wanna select color. If you have a black and white image, you'll select black and white and then you just hit trace. And then what you're gonna do is go to object, image trace, and expand. What that's gonna do is take all the colors of the image that you want and turn them into their own individual shapes. Unfortunately, this means if it had any kind of outside area, you're gonna have to delete that because it's gonna change that to its own shape too. So for this one, I did Discord. So I went ahead and deleted that outside area and then I was left with the little purple dude and the white eyes. So to make it 3D, you go to the 3D and materials panel in Illustrator. You select the vector that you just made and then you hit inflate. So I wanna walk you through the exact process I used for this one. So once you hit inflate, then you have this actual 3D object now and you can kind of play around with the way that it's viewed. So I normally select isometric top and that kind of gives me this top down view of what the logo is gonna look like. And then you can rotate it and play with this little tool here. Or if you want, you can play with the X and the Y and the Z axes um, in the actual panel itself. So for this one, I hit inflate both sides and this is actually a new feature and it just makes it so that it doesn't have a flat bottom. It actually inflates all the way around it and gives it kind of that really puffy, really, I don't know, it looks like a pool float kind of effect. So I'm just playing around with it until I find one that I think really complements the logo and looks kind of similar to the first one, uh, but looks cool at the same time. So I'm playing around with this depth tool also, and that kind of is the height from where it is flat at the bottom or would be flat at the bottom um, to the very top. And then the volume tool, allows it to either be more puffy or less puffy. So sometimes I do something different depending on the logo. I turn down the roughness all the way right here and that's gonna give it that really shiny effect at the end that we're going for. Um, and then in the lighting panel, you can kind of choose where you want the light to come from. If you wanna add a shadow onto it, um, how intense you want the light. And this is all just gonna be basically for how it looks at the very end once you render everything. So for this one, I thought that the rotation looked the best over here. Um, and I just played around with the shadow. Eventually, I think I took the shadow off because you can actually do more with the shadows in Photoshop later if you want to. So the very last step is up at the top here. There's this little button and it's basically how you want it to render. So at the moment, we're looking at it kind of in a very low render so that that lets you play with everything in real time, but this isn't what it's gonna look like in the end. So you're gonna wanna click that and click high quality render and then hit render and that's gonna give you the final result. So just a word of warning, if you're using a logo on a really large scale, it is going to render really, really slowly. Like sometimes I've had things take 30 minutes to render, um, maybe longer. So I'd recommend if you're just doing this for fun to play around, kind of like using a either like zooming really far out on your canvas and making your logo really small or starting with a smaller canvas to begin with. And that's gonna make the render time go way down. So once this one was done, here's the final result. I love how it just looks so glossy and shiny. And a lot of times people comment that it looks like a gummy, like they wanna eat it. And I can see that too, but it just is very aesthetically pleasing. So I'm just gonna put on some nice relaxing music and let you watch a time-lapse of all the rest of the ones I did.
Well, that is it for today's video. Of all these, I think my favorite one is actually the old Nickelodeon logo, even though someone on the stream commented that it kind of looks like COVID. Also, I never really thought about this before, but I kept getting the Discord, Reddit, and Twitch logos confused in my mind. And I never really thought about how they all just have kind of similar really simple, like robotic looking faces. I also really like the FedEx one and it made me realize that these kind of look like the giant balloons that companies have for the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments which one of these logos is your favorite.